our little trolley. I'm just going to load it up. So this is the box that is here when you arrive. Can't remember what the code is, but this is the parking you can see here for Monty. Don't think, don't know what's in this, but we'll have a look. Okay then. So we've got our little truck thing, and we are walking down towards our unplugged rest. Uh, we're staying at Monty, um, and oh, apparently it's a couple of hundred meters away from where we've parked the car, which I just showed you a second ago. So we're going to go and try and find it. this place? It's down here. Okay, so we've just checked in to Monty. I'm just going to give you a very quick show around as you can see it's not massive uh, but it's got everything you need for three days we're actually staying two days um, because we've got to get back to work on Monday but um, yeah we have bought everything we need for the next 48 hours uh, this whole entire um, building and uh, concept is off-grid everything is run by solar power so we are completely off-grid for the next 48 hours can't wait to show you around this place it's super cute the windows in front of me right now are just insane and just offer the most beautiful views of kind of the Chilterns and the kind of Dunstable Downs area as well um, but yeah it's gonna look stunning later I think hopefully we get a good sunset because this would be a, an incredible place to relax with a drink later on okay so this is our little tour hello um so i'm just going to show you around hopefully the light's okay in here um because this huge window at the back here is so bright that it covers up it makes everything else look dark on camera but you come in here and we've got a little table which you can pull forward so we can sit and eat at it um i'll show you this in a second uh, but yeah this is the main attraction i think this is the bed which has this incredible view over to the Chilterns and the Dunstable Downs and as you can see down here which I'll show you in a sec is uh, the fire pit and yeah just super cute got a little fan seating area behind me we've got a kitchen got everything you could possibly need in here all the cutlery etc they've also been kind enough to leave some coffee beans chamomile tea my favorite and English breakfast tea for tomorrow some extra bits and bobs or two uh the hob uh, ring stove um, for potential cooking not that we'll probably do cooking so I think we'll go out for dinner tonight and possibly grab something on the hike tomorrow but here's all the cutlery and stuff you could need and then of course sink as well everything you could possibly need a little stove it's not going to be hot uh, cold tonight so we probably won't put this on but it will look cute either way um, but yeah got some wood and this they've even left little instructions on like how to light a fire which is great uh, but yeah that's cute and then back here got some space for hanging coats which is perfect because I always find that hotels and Airbnbs where I stay they never put coat hooks up and it always annoys me so yeah a little space here for hiking boots and stuff and then we've got a compostable toilet uh, it's a no flush loo because everything's obviously off grid um, we've got some bamboo toilet roll perfect um, and then this place is just cute got a little sink so that's all you need and then a tiny little shower which again is all you need uh, some body wash and whatnot so this is perfect this is all you need oh and I nearly forget forgot so this is the little box obviously this place is off grid and the whole concept is that you take some time offline which obviously is something that I rarely ever do so there's a little Nokia phone if you need to uh, contact emergency services but yeah you lock your phone away you lock everything to kind of distract you um, and then there's just a few notes about what to do when checking out and stuff but yes they've also given you a little instax to take some pics if you still want to kind of remember your time here and then in this box you've got this is the key for the padlock once you've locked it 
Hello Compass, this is the Nokia phone that they're talking about, so yeah, just in case, a torch, headlight, um, they've even got an extra pack of Instax, and they've even got their own OS map for the cabin, which is super cute. Are you coming to say hello? This one's very excited. She doesn't know what's going on, but yeah, this is the little box, and so we'll be putting our phones in here later on. Okay, so in it goes. We'll take that one and we'll keep these. And this is for tomorrow. And then, as I said, out the back here, we've got a little fire pit. We can relax, we've brought some marshmallows with us, and then you've got this view. Okay, so we have just left the cabin behind us down there. Um, I'm just going to go and try and find a walkway. Apparently, Chilton Way, which is one of the longest walking trails around this area, is uh, up here on the right somewhere. So we're going to go try and find it. And uh, yeah, the sun has come out, which is uh, a surprise because we thought it was going to rain all day. This video is not sponsored by all trails but i have been working with them on a different campaign i adore the all trails app and <laughs> very recently uh signed up to pro and i'm loving it and it's great for all of the hikes that we do both for the outdoor adventure girls group but then also for all of our kind of own weekend hikes that we do um, so yeah head down below and you can get signed up and there's also a discount code okay so i don't know if you can see this because it's very bright right now but Got the all trails app open um we're near great gadsden at the moment so we're going to be following we're not joined we've not joined this route this is what we're planning to join now um and then we're not going to do that entire loop but we're going to do most of it i think uh, and then probably won't stop at the pub at the alford arms because we're going for dinner at the red lion tonight a little bit better here so what I'm going to do is going to press start and it's going to start mapping our route using the app I'm on the pro all trails app um, and yeah in a minute we'll get closer to water end and we'll join this route and we'll go through Gate Gadsden all the way around and then maybe skip out uh, this Frithston loop um, and head back towards our accommodation adorable. This is the perfect place to go paddling in the summer. So we just ended up in Great Gadsden but we're now heading up to a wood. Um, come then, come then. <laughs> um, and then we're heading back to our to Monty uh, for the unplugged rest. Indy, what are you doing? Mum, no. Um, and then, just being a pain in the bottom today. Come on. So uh, I had to cut out then because Indy was being a pain in the bottom. Um, but yeah, we are heading up to a hill viewpoint at the moment uh, before we head back to Monty, which is kind of over here uh, somewhere. But. Uh, I will get my all trails app out in a second just to kind of follow the route um, but I didn't want to have it out all the time because I don't want to be on my phone um, but it is good because it's also on my Apple watch as well which is really handy so uh, oh, I'm out of breath climbing this hill Theo and India down here somewhere oh she's such a good girl we've just stopped at the top of a hill which I can't remember the name of but we'll find out now um, and look at these views all across the Chilton countryside. It's beautiful here. Uh, and this place is called Who Wood. So we're gonna we just sat down for a little bite to eat, and then we're gonna go inside and explore. <laughs> I'm in some 
dinner. Okay, outfit of the day. This uh, jumpsuit, which I just wear everywhere I go because it's bloody amazing. Oliver bonus. <laughs> and uh, it was like 40 quid and I love it. And a pair of books, of course. Cottage core, well, log cabin core at this point. I've uh, got my roll neck jumper on, even though it's June. And uh, yeah, we've just bit lit the fire pit. Theo's out here reading his book with Indy. <laughs> and I've just chucked on some leggings and, of course, the most fashionable burkos and socks every day, all day, for life. That would be my only fashion thing that I take through life, I swear. Burkos, socks. And leggings but yeah we're gonna go and make some s'mores now on the fire and just kind of relax um, and I don't think we're gonna get much of a sunset tonight because it's a little bit cloudy um, I don't know if you can see behind me it's a little bit bright at the moment but um, yeah we're gonna go and do that now Woken up and just opened the blinds and we've got this amazing view here. Indy's having a snooze at the moment. Theo's reading his book. We've just made a quick coffee, um, as you will have seen a second ago, and in a second we are going to make breakfast and have something to eat, but yeah. Took a little bit of time to fall asleep just because obviously you can hear a lot of the wildlife outside, etc. Um, but after we went to, got to sleep uh, it was very comfortable and this bed is super comfortable considering it's not a super thick mattress but also loving this bedding um, but yeah we could hear the birds and the wildlife and it also rained last night so we were listening to the rain while we were falling asleep which was super cute um, but yeah we're just gonna hang around in the cabin this morning uh, wait for the kind of the clouds and the mist to lift um, read our books, have a coffee, uh, let Indy out, have uh, a little run around and have some breakfast and stuff and then we might head out later depending on how wet it is outside because it did rain quite a lot in the night but yeah uh, let's see and just have a slow easy morning. <laughs> now it's time for lunch we've got crackers with cream cheese dip olives hummus cucumber and a bit of cheese just chilling nearly read my book well not nearly read it still got like 100 pages to go but just making good progress this one's had a snooze this one's had a snooze <laughs> We have finally left our cabin uh, after a very lazy morning and we're heading off on about a five kilometre walk 
using uh, the All Trails app again. Uh, I'm just going to walk around. Basically, this area is called Great, uh, the Great Gaddesden Estate, and it's about a five to six kilometre circular route, and we end up then back at Monty afterwards. So, I'm just going to go get some fresh air, taking all this peaceful noise and tranquility, and yeah, just get some exercise and breathe in some fresh air which will be really nice after a slow morning nearly finished my book as well uh, only like 80 pages left which for me is a huge achievement because it takes me so long to finish books um, but yeah that's what we're off to do now So we're about three kilometres into our walk and we've just come across this beautiful field which looks green from afar but if you look closer you see these amazing purple flowers which are just beautiful. I guess the moral of the story is spend some time to slow down and look a bit deeper. But yeah we are on our way. We were on our way to a pub but got there and realised it had been permanently closed for a while so we are now on our way to another one which is another kilometre this way and then uh, I think we'll be about a kilometre and a half from uh, our accommodation then but yeah we'll get a drink and stop for a little break the rain is holding off just found this cute little spot um super quiet i don't know where we are to be honest near great gadsden kind of but we just basically came through the edge of the wood and then we ended up in the pub so um we're just getting a quick drink and he's just chilling i'm just gonna have a little break we've done about four and a half k i think now about a k and a half till we get back so hopefully the weather holds off because we've got to stay out here with this little rascal indy indy um um hello <laughs> Every time me and Theo go walking, we're always on the lookout for four-leaf clovers because they brought us a lot of luck in 2020 and 21. And I've just found one. Just found a four-leaf clover. Hopefully, this brings us lots of luck now as a married couple. We actually have some. I'll show you when we get home. It's a five-leaf clover from a few years ago. back. Ah, we're home! Just chilling back out here again this evening, so we're just going to sit out here and not really a sunset today, but yeah, we're just going to chill and then have an early night. Good morning. So it's our final day here. We are checking out uh, this is morning. We've had the best 48 hours just relaxing, going off grid, um, spending a lot of time in this bed, which is just the comfiest. I'm so obsessed with this duvet as well. Um, definitely going to ask where it's from. Um, but yeah, we spent most of yesterday just relaxing in the morning and then went for a walk. And then last night just played another game of Scrabble and then just fell asleep, basically. So yeah, we're going to have coffee this morning and then get up and head off home. Mm -hmm. 